Hi friends, welcome back to new lecture. In this particular lecture, we are going to solve the problem on steady flow energy equation. This is actually second problem on the steady flow energy equation. So in the steady flow energy equation, what you have to do, you have to read the problem very carefully so that you can understand in a better way. And solving problem doesn't require too much skill, but understanding a problem that required a good skill. Okay, let's read the problem. Air at 1000 kilopascal and 280 Kelvin is compressed steadily. This sentence is very important now. It's a compressed steadily from which I can understand I can understand that the application what we are going to use is here compressor means the steady flow energy equation applied for the compressor that's what we are going to discuss over here how we have identified this compressor because they have told air at 1000 kilopascal and 280 Kelvin is compressed and obviously we are going to compress in the compressor and that's why we consider that application which we are using is compressor two a 600 kilopascal and 400 kelvin so that is what initial condition is given this one final condition is given this one so let me write initial condition pressure p1 is equal to 1000 kilopascal and we require pressure in kilopascal so i will keep as it is temperature t1 is given to you 280 kelvin okay and pressure p2 pressure p2 is given to you given to you 600 kilopascal temperature t2 is equal to 400 kelvin the mass flow rate of air is 0 0.02 kg per second the mass flow rate is given in the problem it is how much 0 0.02 kg per second that's what given next Heat lost is 16 kilojoule per kg. Now, in this case, this word is very important. Heat lost. Heat lost is means heat is going outside. Heat is going outside from the compressor. So, as heat is going outside from the compressor, so heat going outside, always we consider negative and heat is coming inside, we consider positive. So, heat is going outside and that is given per kg. So, per kg heat, we denote by small q. Per second heat, we denote by capital Q. So, small q is 16 kilojoule per kg and in this case, what we are having is this heat, this heat is lost and that's why it will be negative. So, why it is negative? Because heat lost. So, this is heat lost. Okay, that is what given. Next, heat lost is given. Assume changes in kinetic and potential energy is negligible. That's what we consider always. Then, determine necessary power input. So, what we have to determine? We have to determine a power input. So, what is meant by power input? Power input generally we denote by capital W and that we have to determine in kilowatt. That we have to determine in a kilowatt. So, power generally what we consider is in kilowatt and that is what we have to determine. Okay, determine necessary power input enthalpy of air at inlet and exit. So they have given enthalpy at inlet. I will write here enthalpy at inlet as H1, enthalpy at outlet is H2. Okay, so what is enthalpy at inlet? Why are it in small h? Because it's a per kg. So it's a 280.13 kilojoule per kg. Then H2, what is H2? H2 can be considered. I can uh, is given in the problem that is 400.98 kilojoule per kg that's what given okay with this all what i have to determine is w and the application is compressor so according to steady flow energy equation let's use sfee -E. let's use sfee -E. what is steady flow energy equation steady flow energy equation already we have derived and we are knowing that q minus w is equal to Q minus W is equal to delta H plus V2 square minus V1 square by 2000 plus G Z2 minus Z1 divided by 1000. Okay. From this I will get small w and small w can be converted into capital W by using mass. So if I want to determine this, if I want to determine this w, I should know all other terms. 
I should know all other terms. What are the other term? Other term is Q. Q is known, which is given over here. Q is known. Delta H. Delta H I can say known because I know H1, H2. So what is delta H? Delta H is H2 minus H1. That's known. V2, V1. Whether V2 and V1 is given to you. V2 and V1 is not given to you. V2 and V1 is not given to you. It's a compressor. It's a compressor. So here in the compressor, generally what we do, the inlet velocity and exit velocity difference we consider to be zero that we had discussed earlier in the derivation. So this will become zero. At the same time, changes in potential energy. They have given one sentence. They have given one sentence that assume changes in kinetic and potential energy is zero or negligible and this term shows change in kinetic energy and this term shows change in potential energy okay so that's why we have considered to be zero and normally also normally also we know for the compressor for the compressor we neglect changes in kinetic energy changes in potential energy so what are the term remaining now in steady flow energy equation in steady flow energy equation we have got q minus w is equal to delta h delta h is h2 minus h1 from this I can determine W very easily. How we can determine W? Let's put the value of Q. Value of Q is 16 minus W is equal to H2 minus H1. What is H2? H2 is 400.98. That's what given here. And what is H1? H1 is 280.30. Okay. So from this we can do a simple calculation. And by doing a simple calculation we can determine that what is small W. Let me check what is a small w value comes to be so small w value you will get by your calculator it is minus 136.85 kilojoule per kg that is the answer we have got for small w now this small w is power per kg but i want capital w i want capital w how we can determine a capital w we are knowing that small w is equal to capital W by M. Specific work is total work divided by M. From this, I can get formula for W is nothing but small w into M. Small w is known. How much is small w? Small w is minus 136.85 into mass flow rate is given in the given data. You can check over here that mass flow rate is 0 0.02 kg per second. So 0 0.02 kg per second so w you can calculate the w and the w value you will get as minus 273.77 kilojoule per second or i can say it's a kilowatt okay so this is of work which we have to supply to the compressor why it comes negative why it comes negative because we are supplying the work to the compressor Compressor always consumes the work and that's why the value will come to be negative. Okay, so you have to remember, you have to remember that for the compressor, what are the term we are neglecting? In the current problem, they have mentioned that kinetic and potential energy is negligible. That's why we consider if it is not given, then also we are going to neglect it because for the compressor, changes in kinetic energy and changes in potential energy is considered to be zero. Okay, so this is what our final answer. This is what our final answer. Thank you very much.